What's up, Three Pound Nation? You will not appreciate the coldness that I'm going through right now to show you this, but check it out, all right? So I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, the uh, steam rising off the water right there all the way to the back of my cove. And uh, it is 17 degrees right now, freezing. But I'm gonna take you out there. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of different things today. Number one is, we're gonna change out the 15 inch Garmin, put the 12 back on. I wanna see if the picture gets better. I, mean, I haven't been happy with the 15 inches uh, picture. I don't think it's a monitor issue. I really do think it's a transdu uh, transducer issue. So I'm gonna put the 12 on and check it back out. Number two is uh, in two days, I'll be at the Let's Go Fishing Show at Collinsville, Illinois with my buddy Jojo Baker. It's a great opportunity for anybody that wants to book your guide trip with me here in Southern Illinois or with Jojo down in Grenada. We'll have all the three pound fishing tackle there and we will have everything from Sniping Braid there. There will be show specials on the Sniping Braid and the tackle, so take advantage of that. Collinsville, Illinois in two days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I will be there. Uh, and hopefully I'll have recovered from what we're about to experience on this episode. So let's get down there. All right, well, one of the best things about, you know, obviously having an 8600 is the hookup's very easy. All I have to do is take this gimbal off. And then we will see whether or not it's a monitor issue or if it is a uh, transducer issue, which again, I think it is a transducer issue. I really do want to, I really do want to use the, uh, the 15. So some people are going to be questioning, well, what was wrong with your trans? What was wrong with your, what were you seeing? Well, I was seeing a lot of uh, ghost trees, a lot worse than I had seen in the past. A lot of blank areas, a lot worse than I had seen in the past. A lot of artifacts, a lot worse than I seen in the past. And I really noticed it during the guide trips. And I just knew I was going to have to do this and see if there's a difference, if there's a big difference between the two. So on this episode, you're going to get to see whether there's a difference between the clarity of a picture on a 12 versus a 15. And again, clutter items, especially like that, I do not think it's a monitor issue. I don't. Um, I really think it's a transducer. And so if you're curious, yes, I cleaned off my transducer when I had the 15 on. The last guide trip before I went out, I cleaned that sucker up, made it as nice as, as I could make it, and it still did it. Now it'll clear up during the middle of the day and it's, for whatever reason, but boy, in the morning, it's artifacts all over the place. I can still pick stuff up, don't get me wrong, but nothing like I was used to and accustomed to. But voila, we've got a 12 inch 8612 and we're there. So we're ready to put ourselves on the water. Let's do it. All right, I already think I found out what the problem is. It's the idea that I'm using this emerald green versus the amber. It is clearly there's a difference how the emerald green really stands out on a black background, which is good. If you're finding crappie, everybody that's what people like. What that's why they like this this green background. But amber kind of more fades into it, so you don't see it as much. So I'm going to show you the difference in what you're seeing on this 12 inch screen here. So. It's funny how cold it's been, guys. Um, I mean, I literally just got out here and the battery on my GoPro died. So, um, and it was fully charged when I left the dock. And so now I'm having to use a stupid uh, block. So look at all the artifacts right here, right? Crazy, right? All over this place. Um, there's fish out here. That's what we're gonna fish actually. But if I come in here and I hit the menu, sonar setup, appearance, go here, go to Amber, look how it clears it up. At least it gives the impression that it's cleared up. And I think that's, I honestly think that's the big difference. Now, no, no, without a doubt, when you're dealing with a 15 inch screen, uh, that's gonna accentuate it even more. It's gonna make those even more artifacts look like that. Um, but that's amber versus the green. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back to green because I've kind of grown fond of that and uh, black emerald. But you see how the artifacts, bam. So I don't know, man. Um, 
you know, could I turn down my gain? Of course, I could turn my gain down to like that, 61, but I've never ran it at 61, so that bothers me a little bit. Still have the ghost tree effect, that hasn't changed whatsoever, so I know it's a transducer issue, so I might order a new transducer. I have two, actually, I should maybe just put the other one on it, but um, let's see if that changes it. Uh, if you have some recommendations on the transducer and how to get rid of that, um, help a brother out. Let's fish. guest on three pound fishing <sighs> folks it's cold out here 17 degrees uh, about a five mile an hour wind right now the nice thing is that the wind is supposedly going to die down and the wind is actually going to reverse today uh, but it's going to die down which makes it a lot easier um, water temperature is up near the Main part of the lake is 51 degrees, but 39, 40 when I was back there. Um, I've kind of had to look around a little bit for the fish, which is uh, what you do if you haven't fished for a couple days, which I had, so I had to kind of look around for them, but I found them. And uh, what's nice and cool is that there's, uh, there's some other diehards out here. Uh, maybe only two boats, but... These are extreme temperatures. My eyelids are freezing up. Uh, I get a lot of questions about braid and cold temperatures. I haven't had a problem yet, but I can see it being a, you know, it absorbs water. So I could, I guess, I would assume that it freezes on your reel, but I haven't experienced it yet. So. Uh, we got steam everywhere, overcast day. Getting out here to enjoy the the winter here before uh, you know who knows if the lake freezes over this year or not. But let me show you what I'm what I'm seeing right now. Okay, so right there, that's a good image. That, those guys are moving um, and they're catchable. You know they're not moving too fast, um, but they're just out there stacked up. I'd like to get rid of this I'd like to get rid of this power block maybe if I get enough charge on there it'll stay long enough or I can put you guys up there and show you stuff but That's a slab. That's a good fish. Right there. That's a good fish right there. That's solid. I was, I was the keeping type. That's a solid keeper right there. big part of crappie fishing now it seems like is is playing the fish um, which I think is just it's just truly amazing right there good fish you know when you see a fish coming towards you speeding it up dropping it right in their mouth <laughs> this is a is a now is now a tactic and uh, that's what I did there all I did was I basically let it drop real quick and uh, he couldn't help himself, it came right in front of his face. Alright, for those guys that just gotta see it, that's what I'm fishing right there. Those fish are down there, I love that type of fish right there, when they're on the ground. Big time advantage, I feel like they, there's a better chance of them feeding when they're like that. If they're up there in the, uh, 
water column more schooled up, especially if they're uh, wiggly or uh, faded. That means they're moving. They're not going to bite as much. So we're going to put you guys up real quick, see if how long this lasts. It, uh, it might not last long, but I know there are a lot of people there that don't like to look up. I get those comments. It drives me nuts. But, uh, folks, it's a free video. Appreciate the video. Sometimes we're going to try this view right here real quick. Man, did he come hard on that? Oh, that's a good fish too. Look at that baby. That baby eat. Now again, I'm I'm just casting that sniping braid, flipping it. It's so smooth. That's a solid fish right there. That might be our picture fish for the thumbnail right there. Bam. Great fish. How fat the belly is. You gotta love it, folks, right there. That ain't too bad out here, to be quite honest with you. The wind has definitely died down since we got out here. That was the forecast. Went from about a seven mile an hour to a, should go to a, practically a zero and then switch directions. So what do we do in that situation? Really not much you can do. The wind's blown from the north for a couple days, so I knew the, the fish would be on some north sides of these points somewhere. Um, finally found them here. They haven't been here in the last week. Uh, so they got pushed up here, and now that the wind is gonna stay, is gonna change, the fish will pretty much stay in the same area until that wind makes another big shift. Tell you what, <laughs> we're gonna end it right there. So I'll make a short episode, show you some extreme crappie fishing, 17 degrees. I would I would categorize that as extreme. And uh want to tell you all about that fishing show at uh Collinsville, Illinois. So again, two days, check us out. Uh booth 103, 104, Ozark Rod, sniping braid, tackle, everything. You're gonna have Jojo Baker there. Uh book your guide trip, buy your discounted products. Um, it, it just really doesn't get any better. Just gonna be, come over, talk crappie, and uh, I'll do my best to talk to everybody. I mean, I, but I'm assuming we're gonna have a good group in our booth, and we look forward to talking to you guys. Uh, it's an exciting year, exciting to do these bait, these shows, and uh, getting out there and talk to everybody. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share the video if you made it this far. I really do appreciate you. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies.